All right, good morning. So a couple props that we'll need today. We will definitely use some light weights. We'll go ahead and if you guys can have a, a playground ball, Pilates ball or a cushion and then bands of your choice. So you can use either or both. So um, get some good music going. Let's have some fun. Gotta get my music on. Let's take one big inhale all the way up. Good to see you guys. Pull those elbows and squeeze the shoulder blades. Let's do that one more time. Really take your time. Feel every muscle opening up, pulling, squeezing, stretching. Good. And lift, lift, lift. Good. Keep on going. Got a little Kesha going this morning. Squeeze those glutes, pull the shoulders down away from the ears. Let's point the toes, activate those legs. Push, push, engage that belly button. Nice and strong, everything's tight here. Four, three, good morning, Lisa. And opposite elbow to knee, pull down. Hey, Katie, we just started. As you know from the warm up, four, three, two, body weight squat, feet hip width apart, push forward, hips back, push forward, wiggle those toes, really sit back. Let's get the elbows if you can down to the quads, getting that full range of motion. Exhaling on the up, four more, three, two, widen the stance, open up the arms, open up the legs, turn those toes out to about 45, it's coming from the hips, just a windmill, we're going to drop it center, take your time here, just warming up the body, little stretch, keeping the legs straight today, for this one, Let's do three more. Go at your own pace here. If you want to go a little bit slower, take your time. Last one, both sides. Down. Let's take it into a jump rope. Bringing it up just a little bit. You can march this out if you want. If you don't want to do the hop side to side. Let's get those arms going though. Eight more, seven, good, three, two, jump squat. So we're either here and stepping, alternating, or down. We're gonna really just do little pushes out, in. Good, landing really soft if you can. Toe ball heel. Try to not make any noise. Four, three, and one. Left leg comes back, lunges down, squeeze up. Pull the shoulders down, front knee over the ankle. Trying to drop this back knee down. Down, three, two, switch sides. What's my balance? My balance is terrible today. Switching sides, opening up that right hip. Four, three, and one. Now real squat jacks. We're gonna come here and up, down, up, and up. Squat. Or low impact. Either one, good. Not quite a regular jumping jack, it's a squat. Four, three, and one. Twist, little hops. You can do this. You don't have to move your feet, you just move the hips and the knees. Good, four, taking this up a level, three, 
snowboard hop. So it looks like this and down. You can do this standing without the jump. Either one. All those snowboarders out there. Four more. Four. Three. Get those hips back. One more on each side. And body weight squat. Hips back. Push. Yeah, good. Hold this one down. Push it down. Shoulders back. Whoop, be quiet. Eight, seven, five, two, and one. Back lunge. Let's get the right leg back. Drop it down. You're either going to bring it in and switch or you're going to jump lunge. Either one. Low impact. Feet are parallel to the front. If it's easier, if it's all on your shoulders, I should say, go ahead and cross. And you can also run it. Four more, four, three, two, high knees. Either squat high knee or run it. Eight more. Five kickers are next. Three, two, one. Butt kickers with a squat butt kick or take it up. Good. I like the intensity, Venus. One more. Three. And one. Widen that stance again. Side to side. Turn the feet out a little bit. Let's take it a little slower. Hold. And center. And right. And center. And left. Good. Feel the opening of the legs. Three more. And two. Not three more, both sides, just one side. Good. Inhale all the way up. Interlace those fingers at the top. We're going to push the hips forward. Squeeze the palms together. Push. Baby back bend. And release the arms. Hinge forward. Soften those knees. Walk it out to a high plank. And mountain climbers. Go. Pull the shoulders down. Belly button in. Hips, shoulders are parallel to the ground. Eight. Seven. Can you get some hang time? Five. Four. And one. Hold high plank. We're going to take, I'll face you, your left knee. Bring it forward and hinge forward and back. I'll show you what it looks like. Just the left side. Forward. Extend, ooh, extend that leg back. And forward to the elbow. Back. I'm running out of room. Two. And one. Let's switch legs. Hold high plank. Right knee into the elbow. In, hinge forward, extend. Good, four more. Feel the stretch. Feel the strength in the arms. Feel the squeeze in the side. Hold. Both legs down, sit back into a downward dog. Feel that stretch. Come into high plank. Drop it down to low plank. Come onto this forearms. We're gonna roll it over onto the side. 
side plank. You can drop that bottom leg if you need to. Or get it up. If you want a little more, raise that top leg. Ready, hips up and up and up. Really getting that waist up to the ceiling. Shoulders away from the ears. Good, four, three, two, one. Hold it, hold it. Roll over under front plank. Low, let's push back into the heels. Back, back, engage that core. Elbows underneath the shoulders. Four more, four, two, one. Let's roll over onto the other side. And pulse it up and up. I'm just gonna switch around so I can see you. Up, good. Pull those shoulders down. Four, three, two, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. And come back to forward, low plank. Tuck those hips under. Let's lift up the right leg, pulse it up. Seven, six, four, you can always drop that left knee if you want to. And switch. Seven, six, flex the foot. Three, and hold low plank. Let's hold it. 30 seconds. Already five into it. Already 10 into it. I do have my clock in front of my computer. Pull those shoulders down. We only have five seconds left. Beautiful. Two and one. Drop the knees, open them up. Sit back into a child's pose. Pull those, get those arms out in front. If you're on a mat, they're trying to reach to the front of the mat. Sit those hips back into the heels. And let's come on up. Let's work some balance really quickly. Um, Venus, if you want to stand up and hold a tree pose on either side, you can do that instead of being on those wrists that you just had surgery on. We are gonna come into all fours position. We're gonna extend. So hands are underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. We're gonna extend the left arm and right leg. We're gonna pull it in for two, elbow to knee, extend for two. Pull it in for two, extend for two. So Venus, you can hold that balance. You can grow your tree up here just to get off those wrists. Hold that there. And when we're done with this side, you can switch to the other side. You'll be holding it for a little while. Let's do two more. In for two. You guys might be on a different feet than me. And let's switch sides. Elbow in. Really contract the core in. So hopefully you've switched Venus. In for two and out. Let's do three more. Really contract in for two and out for two. Last one right here in and out. Good. Hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck those toes under, hips up, push back. Another downward dog. And either let's walk the hands back to the feet. Grab those elbows and rock. Side to side, hanging heavy. Release the arms. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. And two big arm rolls once you get here. And two, good. Let's grab a resistance band if you have one, not the booty band. We're gonna start with these. We're gonna do some overhead stuff. I don't feel like we can get a lot of Resistance with weight sometimes. All right, but here's my challenge to you today. We're gonna to be in a clamshell position with the heels up in the air. So let's come into a turnout with those hips. Feet just follow, heels are touching right now. We're gonna demi-plie 
dropping those knees over top of the feet, pick the heels up, bring the heels back in together. All right, this is our position. Tuck the hips under as much as you can. So here's my neutral. I want to really tuck so that my booty, you can ping that quarter off of, right? In my dreams. All right, put the band around the wrist. Venus, if it's better, go ahead and put those. Uh, do you have, okay, you do have it, good. Yeah, just put it up and that's okay. All right, you can also use your hand weights too. Let's get those elbows right underneath the hands. We're gonna come down for two and up for two. If the legs are ever too much, if you're losing balance, just put the heels down. Down for two, pull on that band equally. Keep it taut. And up, good. Pull, constant pull. Down for two. Getting those legs already. So it's a little bit of a diagonal with those arms to protect the rotator cuff. And down for two, up, hold it here. Drop those knees down, arms are high. We're gonna hinge over to the side. Bring the elbows in, extend in. If you want, you can also, if it feels more comfortable, hold that band and pull. Good, keep on going, push out to the side. So you're working obliques, sorry. In, in, good, Jill. Four, three, you guys pulling on that band? Pulling the shoulders down away from the ears, hold it down, push it out, pulse, pulse, pulse. Eight, seven, Four, three, two, one. Bring it to center. Down for two. Elbows are can come out for now. Out for two. Up. It's a little bit different than we, the way we started, but pull on that band, keeping the shoulders low, protecting that neck. Down for two. Yeah, Venus, I think this still works here, but you're gonna you'll have to keep those elbows in a little bit more unless you have your hand weights, down for two, good, down and squeeze, tuck those hips under again, get those heels together, all right, hold this one down, hinge over, out for two, in, good, your arms should be feeling this a little bit, I know mine are, if you're keeping tension in that band. Don't let that tension go. Eight more. Seven. Good. Yep, I'm shaking. Four. I feel like we maybe did too many on this side. Two, we still have pulses. And drop it down, pulse it out, out. Six, five, three, two, one. Beautiful. While we're here, let's just take this band. We're going to put it around our feet. So right on the instep. Preferably the resistance band. Let's, oh, I should have told you to get your weights before we did that. I'm going to get lighter weights. All right, so it's right around my feet under my feet, I should say. All right, we're ready to go. So we're gonna pull those legs apart, drop the knees, hinge forward, and we're gonna keep those knees to the outside of the feet. Squeeze those elbows straight back. Weight start at the hips, you guys know the drill. We're dropping, extend, drop. Oh, I did TRX. Triceps yesterday. How feeling it? Squeeze. Squeeze. Yeah, good. So we're bending at the elbow, straightening. Let's go a little bit slower. Down. For two, hold the hips up. For two, stop at the hips. Up. Down. We have Mac raises today for April. Down. For two, 
and up. Hold this one down, push it up and back and back. Bending, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Straight back, squeeze those shoulder blades. Good, nice, Linda. Eight, good, Lisa. Six, try to stop at the waist if you can with hips. Three, two, hold those hands up. Drop the legs, palms face out, pulse it up. Knees are to the outside of the feet. Eight, seven, six, four, make it small, make it resisted. Squeeze it together, palms together. Seven, six, good, five, good, and three, two, up for eight. Eight, seven, six, four, two, hold up there, squeeze. Seven, six, five, three, up for four, four, three, squeeze it, four, three, belly button in, up for four, three, last four, three, two, up for two, up for two, squeeze for two, up and squeeze, and up and squeeze, up for two again, single it out, ready, go up and squeeze, and up and squeeze, four, three, two, head's gonna line with the spine, hold those hands up, circle four, it should be hard, three, it's hard for me, and one, go the other way, four, three, shaky, shaky, two, and one, bring those arms down. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, now let's get some movement with the feet. We're gonna get those elbows up, drop the knees, tuck the hips under. From the side, I look like this. We're gonna walk to the left first, in, open. Try to pretend like you have a board on the top of your head. Go back the other way, forward the other way. So you're not going up and down in the legs, you're staying low. Again, over, four, three, having that band around the feet, around back the other way, four, three, two, again, four, if we get a little lower, two, and one, and back, four, three, hold those hips out, knees out, elbows out, down, squeeze up, overhead press, Nice. Low shoulders. Eight, seven. My light weights are feeling heavy today. Four, three, and one. Hold it out. We're going to have the palms face our ears. So weights are going to face us. We're out. Open bicep curl. Out and in. Yeah, good. You can always drop the elbows if you want to, but resist it. Beautiful. Eight, let's stop at 90. So let's not bring them to the shoulders, right? We wanna stop where we're still resisted. Four, three, hold it out. Palms face down, push it down, down, down. Good, eight, seven. If the weights get to be too much, if you're losing form, put the weights down. Palms face up, pulse it up, up, up with the hands, down with the knees. Five, four, two, one, circle, palms face up. And three, go slow, and two, and one, go the other way. We can do it. Three, I like seeing that failure. It's not a failure. It's just the muscles are fatigued. In and out, in. I need a better word. Stop at 90. I just noticed mine were going too far in because I'm fatigued. My muscles are at a failing point. Three, two, one. Good, release. Ooh, feeling that? In here, yeah, good, Linda. 
We're not done yet. All right, we're gonna bring those elbows behind your back. Turn the feet out. You still have the band around the feet. Nice little demi plie. We're gonna squeeze the shoulders, extend and open to the diagonal. Squeeze, extend, squeeze, and squeeze. Tuck those hips under. Squeeze for two, out for two. Good, pull it back, hold it here. Squeeze, pull, pull, pull. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Forward, up, down, up. Weights down, weights up, palms down, palms up. Little softness to the arms. Eight, really working those shoulders today. Five, four, two, and one. Good, if you have a choice, you can get rid of the band if you need to walk to your weights. We'll get that back in a bit. But let's grab some heavier weights if you can. Listen to your body. Let's come into a first position, heels together. If you have your band around you, that's fine. You can stay in your second position. Mac raise. So we're gonna drop and then reach, pull back with one hand. So we're down, squeeze, pull. Slight twist of the torso. Hips are staying pretty square to me. Good, pull, pull. Let's do eight more. We got this. Six, five, four, beautiful. Three, nice Allison. Two, one, hold. Both weights on the front, pulse it up. I know it's heavy, you can go lower if you need to. Eight, seven, six, five, three. Engage that core, two and one, good. Now we're gonna go down into our um, deadlift. Feet parallel underneath those hips. Down for two, sliding down the thighs, up for two. Down, soften the knees. You don't have to go lower than those knees either. Squeezing the shoulder blades together the whole time. Down, let's go for a fly here. Palms face each other, open for two. Down for two, come on back up for two. Let's do that again. Down for two. Open for two. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Down for two. Squeeze up. Let's do three flies. Down for two. Up for two. Down for two. Again, stay here. We're going to do two more. But they're slow. Let's speed this one up. Come on up. Single it out. So we're down. Out, down, and come back up again and down, squeeze, down, up, down, squeeze. Squeeze that pencil between the shoulder blades. All right, let's do two more here and then we'll add the triple fly. Add the triple fly right here. Three, two, soften those knees. One, come on back up again, triple fly. Three, two, one, Two more times, three, two, control that down. Don't let those arms fly down, come on back up. And down, three, control, two, and one. Come on back up, good, roll those shoulders. First position, heels together, upright row. Down, squeeze, down, up, good, squeeze. Eight more, eight. Seven, and we get to add something. Four, three, resist the down again. Two, hold them up there. Let's drop those knees. Elbows are gonna straighten. So we're out and in just seven. Seven, six, bring the shoulders down. Four, backs of the palms face me. Three, two, one, pulse it up, eight, seven, six. A little bit upright here, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, 
We're done with that. Go ahead, put the weights down. Grab the resistance band. We're gonna put it back around our feet. Let's fatigue those legs out for a second. Then we'll come back to more strength in the arms. So band right around that instep. If you wanna have light weights, feel free. We can do some overhead presses. All right, so we're gonna, don't worry about the arms quite yet. We're gonna hinge ever so slightly. So we're gonna stand up, tuck those hips, bend the knees, hinge forward, really bringing that belly button in. If you wanna add the arms, we're gonna add a tap, tap. So we're loading up on this right side, out, in, hinged forward, feeling the strength in the right booty, Feet are parallel and out. You don't need the weights. That's just a way to level up. Four, three, two, stay on this right leg and we're gonna lift, lift, lift. You can just hold onto those weights. If you wanna put a little more weight on that outside leg, you can. Eight, seven. Keep this right leg soft. The left leg is straight. Two and one. In and out. Toe tap and out. Toe tap. Good. Now you should be feeling this standing leg. Hinged forward, remember. Protecting the lower back. Four, three, two, and one, that left leg was just a prop. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So it's a tap and in, tap. Softening this left leg now, deeply bent, straighten and bend the right leg. Out and in, out, good. If it's more comfortable, you guys can be upright. Hinged forward. You're gonna get a little bit more in that lower back for some strength. So you have to bring that belly button in. Four, three, two, pull that leg out, pulse it up, up. Oh, I can't pulse it. My, my right, your left booty is screaming. Eight, seven, six, little pulses, three, two, one, so it's toe tap. Now let's add the bend in, pulse, just a toe tap. Try not to put too much weight on that right outside leg. Yeah, your left glute should be screaming. Ooh, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, just little squats down, up, Add the bend of the elbows here. Now let's really push the weights forward and back, forward, back. Just working out the lactic acid in the booty. Getting the heart rate up a little bit. Four, three, two, one, hold it. Drop those knees, tuck the hips, push it out and in. Palms face each other, out. I'm gonna come a little closer. Don't worry about my band. Yeah, four, three, and one. Elbows glued into the side. Open, close, yeah. Eight, lots of arm work today, but we're doing legs too. Three, two, and one. Done with weights. You can go ahead and put those down. I think I said that before, didn't I? Let's go ahead, get rid of the band. Grab your ball. I'm gonna place it under the heels today. Oh, I think that should be good. The stomach is rumbling. Ball underneath the heels. You can have a small cushion pillow folded up for the same thing. This is just to keep those heels in releve up off the ground. We're gonna squeeze those legs together. You only have one leg. 
Let's tuck the hips under, feel that nice heavy seat, pelvic tilt. We can get that left arm out in front. We're gonna come down for two, squeeze up. Oh, my legs came apart immediately. Squeeze for two and up. Sliding down the wall with your back, okay? Slide down the wall and up. Good balance, good Lisa. And up, tuck those hips under, down for two. Good Venus, nice Katie. Hold this one down, really tuck those hips under. We're gonna tuck, release, tuck, tuck. So it's a tuck, release, tuck. Eight, get a little lower. Eight, seven, six, keep going. I'm just gonna turn so you can see me. Four, let's do A more just because I lost some. Tuck and tuck and tuck. Eight, seven, maybe a little more. Five, four, three. I should have worn my I Lodge shirt today. Hold it here, hips left and right. Stay low, left, right. Try to keep that board on your head. You don't want to come up above. Try to keep the hips tucked. Eight, seven, left and right. Five, three, two, and one. We're gonna get those heels together. Toes are gonna splice. So you're in a first position. Down for two, up for two. Down, tuck the hips, up. Down for two, take your time up and down and up. Really focusing on everything above the knees. Shouldn't feel this from the knees. I want you to tighten the booty, feeling it in the inner thighs, outer thighs, quads, hamstrings. If you want to work balance, both arms down, both arms up, down for two. We're going to hold this one down, pulse it down and down, really opening up from the hips. Squeeze those glutes, eight, seven. It's a push, it's not so much a pulse, taking the bounce out. What number am I on? Four, three, two, hold it down. Hips left, hips right, hips left. Take those shake breaks when you need them. Listen to your body, challenge it but listen to it. Hips left, hips right, hips left. Can we go one more inch lower? Just even a centimeter, a hair. And two, one, back to center, push it down an inch, up an inch, down, up. Let's go slower, down, up. You should be shaking. Hips are open, squeezing those glutes. Down an inch, up an inch. Hold this one down as low as you can get. Hips back, back, back. Holding that isometric hold there in those upper legs. Try to keep the head still. You have a book, you're trying to balance. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Come out of that. Beautiful. Quickly, let's get a nice little stretch. Grab the left foot. Open up the quad. We are gonna really focus on quads today. Of course, we'll do hamstrings as well. If we do the front, we always wanna do the opposite muscle. So we're gonna come down. We haven't done some thigh dancing in a while. You can grab some light weights as well. Let's just switch. We'll get more stretching later. This is my gift to you. Enjoy it. All right, grab your playground ball. Grab some light weights if you want, or heavy. It's up to you. You could go heavy if you want. All right, you're gonna put the ball just in between the knees. So we're gonna, the only reason we're using the ball today is to activate the inner thighs while we're also working front and back. All right, you have your weights. We're gonna pretty much do what we did before when we were standing. I want your feet to be touching. I'll go a little diagonal. Let's push those hips forward. We're gonna sit. You're not gonna be able to sit all the way with that ball, right? So the ball is gonna keep you from coming and resting on the heels and up. 
We're gonna hinge back now, push it forward. Hinge, push back, push forward. Eight, shouldn't feel too bad yet in those legs. Oh, good choice, Allie. Three, you could, if this is okay, you can just sit up and do some pushes and forwards. Ready? Last one, two, and one. We're gonna forget about those weights. I want you to just place them on the thighs. Push the hips forward. We're gonna hinge back for two and up. Hinge back, hinge up. Feet are together. The more you squeeze them, the more leverage you'll have. Hinge back and forward, squeezing the glutes forward, really using the quadriceps and forward. Let's try not to come all the way forward now. Let's keep that tension. Back for two, halfway up for two. Back for two, squeeze. Head, your eye gaze is looking at the diagonal of the room. Back for two, up and back. Let's hold it back, pulse, pulse, pulse. Squeeze those glutes, eight, seven, five, four, two and one. We're gonna sit, keeping that body upright. I'll come to the side now. So we're gonna sit, come up, sit, push forward. Down, hips tuck, down, hips tuck. Just using these weights now is a little bit more resistance. Eight, should be feeling the legs now. Six, what we wanna try to avoid is here, because that takes all of the work out of the legs, right? We wanna be straight up and down. I don't know how many more, we're gonna go four more. Three, two, now the hard part, hover, pulse it, eight, seven, six, five, oh boy, three, two, oh. I hope you felt that, because I did. All right, Allie, we're gonna come join you. Let's just go ahead, get rid of the ball for the time being. We haven't done these in a while. Some of my favorites. They're gonna open up the toes. So your hips are open, your heels are gonna be together. Feel free to use the hands to push that back nice and upright. If this is not available to you, you can definitely come onto the shoulders, but if you do, pull the shoulders away from the ears. So the hardest level will be arms up above. Let's point the toes, you're in a turnout. Lifting, there's a string on the inner thigh. Lift and lower and lift. Good, up, up, up. Try not to let the left heel touch the ground. Up, four, three, two, Pulse it up right here. It's eight, it's seven, six. Everything is strong and long. One long leg, two, hold in here, circle. And circle, if you have those weights, you could. If you're really feeling crazy, go ahead, place a weight on that quad. Go the other way, four, three, Two, we're not done yet. And one, pulse it up, turned out, up. Seven, six, take your time, don't let it bounce back. Try to take the pulse up. It's more a lift and a lower, a lift and a lower. Resist, four more. Three, two, hold it here. Flex that foot, we're gonna bend the knee, push it out for two. Bend the knee in for two, push it out for two. It's hovering, that heel is hovering on the ground. Not touching it. Two and one. Push it up, pulse it, point the toes up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Quick little love on that leg. Shake it out, rub it out, whatever you guys need to do. And we have another side. Come back to that turnout. Heels are together, hips are open, arms are up in the air. We're gonna lift 
for one or two and down for two. Lift for two, you can place that weight on the thigh if you want and down and up. Beautiful, up for two. I love all the variations. Try, if you're, if you're on your arms, really pull those shoulders away from the ears though. Good, up for two, down for two. Let's pulse it up and up. Strong ballerina legs here. Pointed toes in that turnout. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Hold it up, circle. We did circles on the other side? I think we did. Two and one. Go the other way, four. Three, how much more upright can you sit? And one, pulse it up, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. Take the pulse out, down, up. I think I need to get rid of that. Two and one, let's flex that right foot, knee in, push the heel, knee in for two, push it out for two, heel in, push it out. Oh yeah, four, three, two, feeling that whole upper leg. And one, push it out, point the toes up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. I don't know how the time is already almost 20 after 10. It doesn't make any sense to me. Take those arms up, widen the sits bones, Flex the feet and just hinge forward. You can grab the toes, you can grab your shins behind anywhere. Just don't really grab on those knees and drop it. If you want, you can always grab the big toes with your two, well, your forefinger and your middle finger. Pull back, bring those elbows down to the knees. Every exhale, release a little more. Let's stay here for another 15, 20 seconds. Releasing on the inhale and getting deeper on the exhale. And hold it there for one more second. All right, we're gonna do a lot of floor stuff today. So, I told you we were gonna use booty band. We really didn't, did we? But we will. Grab the booty band or resistance band. If you have a booty band, I would prefer that right now. We're gonna come onto our bellies. We're gonna work the back of the leg. We're gonna place the booty band above the knees where the booty band always goes. I will bring you guys closer to me because I think we'll stay on the floor the rest of the day. There's not that much time left. All right, you're gonna come onto your bellies. And get nice and comfy. How's that? Let's pick you up just a little bit more. Also, just as an FYI, if you guys didn't see, I'm not gonna be here on Thursday to teach, just so you know. All right, your hands are gonna just be your little support for your head. So you're gonna look down into your mat. We want to bend the left foot, left leg. So bend at the knee. We're gonna lift it up, bring it down, point the toes up to the ceiling, up. They're not gonna have much range of motion here. That's okay. We're really isolating that left leg above the knee. And breathe. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse it up and up and up. Feel on that hamstring a little bit. Allie, do you feel that hamstring just a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Four, three, two, one. Down, lift it up, hold it. Down, lift it up, down, lift it up. You thought you guys would be comfy on the floor, didn't you? Down and lift it up, pulse it up for eight, 
seven, six, five, three, two, and one. Release that leg, shake it out a little bit. Do the other side. We're gonna bend the right foot, the right knee, and point the toes, look up, third, two, down. Is it, for me, it's really interesting to feel the difference on each side. So I have a replaced hip on my other side. It's like zero range of motion. This one I feel like, gosh, I have so much more. Try to keep the belly flat on the floor. So we don't want to open it up when we're lifting up to the sky. Up for two, down for two. Good. Up for two and down. And up and down. And down. Keep on going up for two. Last two. Pulse this one up. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Squeeze that glute. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Release it down. Push it up and down. Gosh, if anybody was watching this, they'd really say we're not doing anything. And down. And up, hold. And down for two. And up, hold. And down. And up. And down, last eight pulses, eight, seven, six, five, but we're not done yet. Two and one. We're now gonna diamond our knees. So our knees are spread apart, but our feet are gonna be together. I don't think you can really see that, but my knees are spread as far as I can get them. Squeezing my feet together. We're gonna lift up for two and down. Feel it, really feeling this in the booty, up for two and down. The toes are pointed up for two and down. Oh, my feet got cramped. And down. Hold it up there. Let's pulse it up for seven and six. Squeezing those glutes. Three. I lie. Let's do eight more. Eight because it feels so good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one good come up onto all fours we'll see if this is possible with a booty band i think it will be so up on all fours or actually let's come on and box it out so let's put right forearm down on the ground left hand is going to push down into the floor so for um venus you can have both forearms on the ground we're going to lift that left knee out for two and down. If you have a resistance band, you're probably in much better shape right now. Up for two. Little side donkey kick raises. Up for two. Down. Resist that down. Don't let the leg fall. Up for two. It just doesn't go very far with these booty bands, but oh, do you feel it? Up for two. Hold this one up, pulse it, eight, seven. We're not gonna stay here long, we're running out of time. Five, four, three, two, one, hold it. Can we push that foot back to the diagonal? I don't know where the best way is. Okay, this is gonna be it. Knee in to the elbow, push it out to the diagonal. Knee in and out, knee in and out, knee in and out. Knee in, knee out. Hold that leg extended in the back, pulse it up and up. So left leg is straight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Quickly switch sides. You ready? Up for two and down. No rest for the weary. We're not weary, we're strong down. For two, up. If you have a resistance band, you might be able to get that knee parallel to the floor. Up for two. And up for two. Oh my goodness. Up two. So it's out to the side really. Sorry, not really up, but out to the side. Up two. Down. Hold this one out to the side. Pulse it out. 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 Four more. Four. Three. Two and one. We're going to kick it out. Bring the knee into the elbow. Kick it back and knee in. Back. Knee in and back. 
Let's do three more. Three, two, hold this one back, pulse it up, up, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, so just use that booty bang. You're gonna open up the knees as much as you can. Sit back into the glutes. Beautiful. Let's roll over onto our backs. Home stretch. Let's work those hamstrings a little bit. So you can keep that booty band on. Feet are gonna be flat on the floor today. We're gonna tuck the hips under. So instead of a full bridge up to the top, I really just want you to tuck, push that lower lumbar down onto the mat and just hover the hips off of the ground, maybe a fist width. From here, we're gonna extend the left leg and we're gonna tuck the hips, release, tuck, release, tuck. Should look like nothing. Four, three, two, and one. From here, that left leg, the long extended leg is gonna come up for two, hover for two, up for two, hover. So what we're doing is we're working the supporting right leg up, for two in the booty, in the hamstring. Tuck those hips one more inch if you can. And down, and down. Let's hold it at the 45. So your knees are uh, right next to each other, but your hips or your uh, booty band or your resistance band is pulled. We're gonna tuck, release, tuck, release. Feeling that in that booty, tuck, release, tuck. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna switch legs. Left foot flat on the ground, extend that right leg out, hover those hips. We haven't brought them down onto the ground. We're gonna tuck, release, tuck, release with just that left leg extended. Keep that booty band or resistance band nice and taut. Four, three, two, and one. To keep those hips nice and tucked, fist width above. Let's raise the leg, lower the leg. Raise and lower, good. Raise, pushing your left foot flat into the ground. That right leg is long and extended. Your hips are not as high as a full Hip raise up for two. Feeling that in the hamstring, the glute. Up for two. Good. Let's do two more. And we're going to hold it at that 45. Hold this one there. Tuck, release, tuck. Now's when you really should feel the backside of that standing leg. Four, three, two, and one, good, lower that down. Arms are gonna come up overhead for just one quick stretch. Let's go ahead and grab that playground. Whoa, my playground ball was near me. <laughs> grab the playground ball for me. If you have weights, you can grab them. Light ones, preferably. We're gonna place that ball at the base of the back. All right, so let's push into that ball, tuck those hips under. Band can be on or off, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna bring the weights up into nice 90 degree goalpost arms. We're gonna bring it in, opposite elbow to knee, stay with that side. So right elbow, left knee, and down. Squeeze, and down, if you wanna get rid of that. Um, outside arm weight, you can just put that hand down or you're gonna hold it static. And in and out, I feel this in my glute. Good, push into that ball. And let's switch sides in and out and in and out. 
exhaling when you bring the knee in. Shh. Eight more, eight. Elbow to knee. Do that, get that nice twist in. Six, five, three, two, and one. Put those weights down, elbows back. Well, you could use them if you want. Back. I think I like them today. I don't know why. Elbows. Shh. Exhale. You can also just hold them right at the chest if you want. Eight, seven, five, four, bow and arrow coming up. Two and one. So we're pulling, palms face each other, switch up. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Four more, three, two, one. All right, here's our challenge. Push into that ball, really tuck the hips under. You can grab the weights if you want to or put them down. We're gonna go overhead. So your hips are tucked as hard as you can get them. Arms come out to the side all the way up overhead and then palms face each other come down toward the knees open it up and up big circles with those arms tuck the hips one inch more open and up next time we're going to hold them overhead so palms face each other out. The biceps are right by the ears. Pulse it up, up, eight, seven, six. Squeeze your head if you want to. Four, three, two, and one. Good, reach up and elbows back. Eight more and then we're done. Six, five, three, two and one go you can go ahead get rid of that booty band or resistance band get rid of those weights keep the ball place it anywhere on your back under your shoulders under your neck under your low back wherever you want it to open everything up good job you guys as always All right, slowly either come up or just come around. Get rid of the ball. We're gonna come back onto our back though. We're gonna go ahead and goddess the arms. So just bend at the elbows, bring those knees into the chest, drop them over to one side. I don't care which one and look over the opposite elbow. Good, let's bring the knees back to the center, push the lower lumbar down into the ground and switch sides. Feel that side opening up. If you guys have any requests of things that you wanna do in class, please send them to me. Anything maybe that I've done in the past that I then forget about that maybe you liked or something that we used to do all the time and we haven't done in a while. Let's come and bring those knees into the center, grab anywhere except for on the knees. You can grab behind those hamstrings. You can grab on the shins and rock side to side. Let's do one nice neck stretch. So a couple options, you can pick those hips up and just bend at the hips, opening up the neck. You can stay here or you can extend the legs up to the ceiling. I'm just gonna give myself a little bit more room and then drop them down. Good. 
Gently bend those knees. Support the hips as you slowly lower the legs down. And one long hair stuck on my toenail. Use those legs to help you rock up. Let's sit into a nice butterfly position. Rocking open. Gently open up those legs just a little bit more if you can. Using the forearms. All right, gently bring those legs back together again. We're gonna come onto all fours. Let's get that left foot forward. Back up here. The left knee right over the ankle, flatten out the back foot, hinge forward. Good. Release those arms down onto the ground, straighten that front leg, pointed toes or flex, it doesn't matter. Whatever feels better to you. And let's switch sides, hinging forward, opening it all up. And push it back. Point the toes, open up the backside. Straightening that front leg. Good, let's come onto the feet, hip width apart, grab those elbows. Let's finish where we started, rock side to side, soften those knees. And when you're ready, you can roll up one vertebrae at a time. Head is the last to come up. One big inhale all the way up. Pull those elbows down. Give yourself a big squeeze. Bring the shoulders down. Release the arms, two shoulder rolls back. And two, bye Katie, thank you. Thank you all so much for giving it your all today. So fun to see you guys. I will see you on Tuesday. Thank you. Bye, Lisa.